<laughs> I'm just pushing up the hill at the moment and hopefully this is the hardest part of the next couple of days getting a loaded bike all the way up and heading away up there into the cloud but uh, <laughs> it's going to be a good couple of hours of hard pushing yeah <laughs> oh nearly up at the snow line so beautiful though not a bad place to be pushing my bike Yeah, hopefully be up before too long. we'll get them tomorrow. So I'm hoping that this is going to become my home for a night but it's going to take a lot of hours and uh, some hard work first. stop for a tea break because it's quite hard work so cup of tea and a pastry so I'm just sewing um, lines in and it makes it easier because then the shovel's just kind of levering the snow out um, uh, you can get snow sores <laughs> but I don't have ones. This is just the rustiest one that I had at home. And uh, it's starting to get there. So this bit is going to become like um, my sleeping platform. Uh, I'm not going to make it as big as I thought I might because <laughs> I forgot how much hard work it is. But uh, I'm starting to feel like I might actually finish before dark, but we'll see. Digging a snow hole in your own is flipping hard. Um, so it's not as big <laughs> or quite as luxurious as I'd imagined it. But um, yeah, not bad really. Just gonna drink some tea and get some dinner on. And then have a really good sleep tonight. <laughs> Waking on Saturday morning with a tired body from all the digging and the mist sat low on the mountains, I decided to have a chill out, do some reading, drink lots of tea and a little bit of DIY.
With the clouds finally lifting around mid-morning, I set off to explore my beautiful snowy world. So we have the wardrobe and the luxury bed and the kitchen. What more would you want? Shoving frozen boots on at half four in the morning, I dragged myself out in search for sunrise. Outside it was beautiful and sparkly with a good hard frost. Back at my snow hole, I got packed up ready to head back down to reality. I packed slowly, savouring the sunshine and the warmth on my face. So, here's something I bet you've always wondered, but have been too scared to ask. What do you do with your poop in winter? You could just bury it in the snow, but when the snow melts, it's just going to be, your jobby's just going to be sat there, waiting to say hi to everyone, hello, as they walk past. So, bag it up dog pee bag, sealed container, take it home with you, get rid of it, do whatever you want. Doesn't matter, just don't leave it lying around please. Anyway, <laughs> now you know. <laughs>